hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have lawn fawn's tiny winter friends i have the little agenda bus from mama elephant we have the grassy border from lawn fawn we have the tree stitched tree borders couldn't remember the name of that and that's it <laughs> and what i'm going to start off with is to stamp all the images that i want to use from this stamp set so i am actually going to make this into a christmasy christmas buses whatever you want to call them and i so i just needed the buses for this i actually did because of the windows in it i actually do have the dies for this you guys know me i have my scanner cards i don't normally use uh don't normally buy the dies as much anymore because i feel like i don't need to um and uh but in this case because there's a bit of an interactive element i kind of needed to you know you just know <laughs> so so i'm stamping my large bus and then i will get the small bus stamped as well as the bus stop stand bus stop um and honestly i couldn't i just had no room if i had a a larger card or a regular size um slim line you know like the normal sort of size as opposed to a mini then the bus stop sign probably would have worked quite well um but i wanted to make a mini i thought it's a little quicker and easier <laughs> so i went with that works out fine and actually i really love how it turned out so i used some ink on three um, hybrid ink in black and here's where i'm just lining up the little buses now i the windows are not an option they do cut out if that makes sense there's no option to take those out and not cut the windows out so for me with the scanning cut that might still be an option in the future where i just don't want those windows to cut out and actually in this case i probably could have done the same thing thinking about it now because the way that we're doing this card today we don't actually need the windows to be cut out <laughs> so i could have actually avoided that bit <laughs> nonetheless this shows you what the how the windows will cut out because you can actually make things like shaker cards and things like that with these i think that'd be cute so this is them cut out i just ran them through my die cutting machine i have a sizzix big shot um, as my main die cutter or my go-to one i suppose and just getting all the uh, all those pieces set aside and getting the dies out the way. I am keeping the inner windows because we are going to stamp all the little people and animals and whatever else I decide to put in these buses. They're going into those little openings. Um, so I decided to just keep all the pieces that cut out from the windows. Um, and I will be inking and stamping the tiny winter friends into the windows um being a winter card i thought this made the most sense uh, mama elephant actually in the little bus agenda there is a whole load of little characters all the the you know like the bunnies and the hamster and can't think monkey and the cat and the dog and all that there are all of them that will fit in those windows as well and there's also dies that will co coordinate to be able to die cut those little guys out so if you want to die cut the windows out and then actually pop the separate image of the um say the bunny into the window um so that you can kind of see past the bunny then you can do that so i think it's very clever it's, it's very cute and i just i just love it <laughs> so, so i even decided to add um rudolph <laughs> every reindeer is rudolph in my mind um and a snowman because why not um i know it makes no sense really in reality but why wouldn't you have a reindeer and a snowman on your school bus because you would right anyway so i just decided roughly where i wanted to put those little guys and they will fit in there and what i did off camera just to save some time is i decorated the bus with some other the elements that are in the stamp set um and also colored them all in with some copics and used a silver sakura pen for the silvery bits 
So for my um, layout, I've got some peeled paint here that I'm going to add to the grassy border. Um, the mini slimline is, let me try and get this right, is three and a half by six. Um, so you will need, for your base, you will need a three and a, a sorry, a six by seven piece folded at three and a half. Yeesh, maths. Um, so all of these strips are six inches wide. Um, and then I just cut them at different heights so that I would have the right height for, depending on where it was in the scene. So, like I say, peel paint for my grass. I now have just a strip. It's about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch tall. Um, it just happened to be a strip and it just worked. So it's that sort of size. And again, it's six inches wide. And I'm using black soot so that I can get my road color. And I will show you a little tip later on, or trick, whatever you want to call it, that I did to create what looks like a road. Um, because ideally, I would have used my dyes, but my dyes were like, the road dyes I have are like wavy, if that makes sense. So it wasn't going to work on the scene. The scene's a little small. There's a lot going on in it. So I needed a straight road. <laughs> so so um, for my tree backdrop, I've got walnut stain. And what I did was on the trees, I just went over them a second time so that they deepened the color and made it more intense. But I did think that you could do the same brown on the bottom and then color those trees in like a green, like a dark green. And you could create that and make them look like a desert plant. Just saying. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but when I was editing this, that kind of came to me. So for my sky piece, so this is the main panel. It's going to fit the front of the whole card. So this is three and a half by six. And I'm using selvage patina just as the sky color. To be honest, these colors are kind of random. They're not my normal go-to colors. And the reason being is that I, at the moment, I have a whole bunch of distressings just on my desk that I'm using for Halloween because Halloween I'm obsessed with. So it happened that those colors were there and I thought, let's just go with it. And it works really well. So <laughs> all I did for that was I just started at the top and worked my way down. And then I inked, uh, sorry, spritzed them all with water these are all cut out i didn't say this these are all cut out of uh bristol smooth cardstock awesome cardstock for ink blending just saying it's fantastic so now i have my pieces and they've dried off enough um i'm gonna use some just some flat double-sided adhesive and get the layers layered <laughs> um so just lining up with the bottom because these are all the same width um lining up with the bottom edge and getting them lined up and then there's my first backdrop and that looked nice just like that <laughs> and the spritzing um because i could have used a stencil dye for like clouds in the background and all that sort of thing but actually the spritzing of water for a wintry sky i think works to kind of look like snow even though it's not snow do you know what i mean so, um, or just like speckles in the sky, because the sky is not always that sort of, sometimes it is, but not always that wonderfully crystal clear blue. Um, so I think having that speckle in the background just adds a bit of interest as well. So at this point, I'm, I've got my road on. I'm not putting my grass on yet because I want to decide where I'm going to put my little, well, they're rather large buses on this mini card, but <laughs> they still work. So I decided that the blue bus, which has got the snowflakes, on it um, I decide that that is going to get stuck flat and also just quickly while I when I went to put the little windows back in with the people um, I just used some purple tape at the back to hold them in place so I stuck it to the back of the card and then I could just sort of put them into um, into the the windows back in <laughs> that makes sense and it holds them nicely in place so this is where i decided that i wanted to pop up my red bus so that it had that depth of like being on the road but the bus stop was just not going to work so i got rid of that and i'm just lining up from the outer edge about the same as the blue bus so that they're about equal on there and you can see both of the drivers and all that sort of thing so this is my trip trip <laughs> trick god <clears throat> for 
roads. Take a white gel pen <laughs> and a ruler <laughs> and make some dash lines. That's it. So I just kind of roughly guessed where I thought the middle of the road would be compared to where the wheels were. Um, you could have done this beforehand. Um, just go down the middle of the strip that you have as your road. Uh, but actually this was kind of an afterthought because I suddenly thought this doesn't look right. And I'm so glad I added it. It actually makes a huge difference when you're looking at it from a details point of view. Just adding that little line down the middle. You can obviously add um, yellow lines if you want yellow lines. <laughs> but I just used the white marker, a white pen. It's not super clear, but in real life it's really quite effective. So I thought I'd get that in there for you. So I added some thinner strips of foam tape to the bottom edge under the wheels of the red bus so that I could get my grass on and that way the grass is lying flat against or level with the red bus because that's already got dimension on it um, and that just makes it such a difference because even having the grass raised it gives another bit of dimension to the whole scene. And then I'm just taking my little mini slimline card and adding the top piece to it, the main uh, front of the card. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. <laughs> and that's it. I was going to add sparkle and shimmer and all that stuff. And I just thought, actually, I like it like this. So there you go, guys. Very simple colouring, very easy to put together, couple of layers, yes, bit of dimension, bosh, another Christmas card done. Oh, and I actually put the Happy Winter into the side of the bus, so that's the sentiment on it. Um, forgot to share that bit, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys, and uh, happy Christmas, <laughs> and um, bye for now.